Hello, I'm Shane Olson and I will be your instructor for the duration of this course. I'd like to start by telling you a little about myself. I've been in the video games industry for over 15 years. During that time, I have worked for studios such as Acclaim and Sony. I'm currently a senior character artist at Avalanche Studios, otherwise known as Disney Interactive. I'm currently working on Disney Infinity. I have a passion for well-designed, stylized cartoon characters, and I wanted to create a series of courses in order to share my knowledge and passion with you. With this first beginner series, my aim is to create a course that isn't like typical entry-level tutorials where you are learning the technical side of the software by going through menu after menu. Instead, I would like to get you following along and creating right away. The idea here is to introduce new techniques and ideas as we go along. With that being said, I recommend you at least having a basic grasp of ZBrush, like how to navigate and know the difference between a tool and a subtool. There are a few free lessons on my webpage that teach those topics if you are just starting out. ZBrush is an absolutely amazing program, but ZBrush can be very overwhelming and frustrating at times. So the point of this course is to teach you how to create cartoon characters from start to finish as simply as possible. By the end of this course, you should have the knowledge and understanding to create your own simplistic cartoon character out of primitive objects. If you haven't already done so, please install my custom user interface, custom brushes, and project file so we can get started. If you don't want to use my custom UI, but you want to follow along, just grab my brushes and project file and you'll be good to go. To install my custom UI, follow the instructions in the README file that came with the UI. After you get everything installed and open ZBrush, it should look like this. Next, to open the custom project file, Lightbox should already be open, like this. This is the custom project that came with the file. If you double click here, it will open the project. This is a Dynamesh sphere. If you turn on Polyframe, you'll see that it is made up of little tiny squares. It's not like your typical wireframe that you would see in other programs such as Maya or 3D Studio Max. And that's because Dynamesh allows you to be very creative and free with your sculpts without worrying about the underlying mesh and edge flow. It's the closest thing to working with real clay that I've ever seen. So now how Dynamesh works is as you sculpt and manipulate the geometry, you can reconstruct the surface at any time. I'll show you a quick example. If I grab the move brush down here, I can resize my brush by hitting S and dragging the slider up and down. Then I can grab anywhere on the surface. If I have symmetry on, if you push X, you can toggle symmetry on and off and you can tell if you can see the little red dot on the opposite side. So now if I go to drag this, if I drag far enough, I'll turn wireframe back on. You'll see that the underlying surface is actually being stretched and it's creating a surface that's not really sculptable. So if I want to re-evaluate the surface and make it sculptable again, all I need to do is hold down control and drag anywhere on the canvas and let go. And you'll notice that it's re-evaluated the surface and now it is made up of those little tiny squares. And now it's sculptable again. So now we're all set to start modeling our frog character. In the next lesson, we will start laying in our shapes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next lesson.